This is the Danny Tuesday Podcast Show. It's Danny Tuesday! Danny Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Danny Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Danny Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Danny Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday Podcast Show. Yo, what's up? It's me, DJ Teddy. And today we're talking about sports, community, and business. That's right, we're getting ready for the 2019 year the right way. The only way, and we're doing it Texas style, B-I-G. Stay tuned every Tuesday. Presented to you by Fort Bend Dental. Let's go. Welcome, welcome everybody. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Welcome to another Tuesday for Teddy Tuesday Podcast. I am DJ Teddy. So shout out to State Farm up in the building, one of our sponsors. If you need some good insurance, even for your business and your cars, make sure you hit up State Farm. You know, they on all the NBA commercials anyway. I mean, my goodness. So make sure you hit up State Farm for real. Make sure you hit them up. Shout out to all my other sponsors. Fort Bend Dental, uh, Texas Leaguer, $3 well, I mean, $2 Wells tonight and $3 Texas Leaguer tonight. Shout out to Fuzzy Tacos. Always, every Tuesday is going down. You already know what time it is. Today is kind of special. Usually I talk about sports, but since the Patriots won, I really don't feel like talking about anything. Because I'm salty. I was rooting for the Rams, so if, if anybody Patriots fans, that's just too bad, I'm just saying. But congratulations to Tom Brady for doing his thing. I think he got six, right? Six? Six rings. If he get one more, he's going to be Jordan. Think about that. If he gets one more, he's going to be Jordan. That is like historical right there. So that's all I'm going to say about that. So football season is over, and if you don't know, the American Alliance Football League has just started. Uh, that's another alternate for football that has started right now. And when does Canadian football start, league start? June. You see, you said that's super cool. June. June. We got a special guest in the building. We're going to talk to him a little bit. I actually went to college with him at SFA. Yams did two shots to the cameraman at SFA, number jacks. Doing the B.I.G. Yamsy boy. But, um, we went to SFA together, Stephen F. Austin, and he was playing football then. I think he transferred from Baylor University. He was playing at Baylor. He's a big man, so he looks like he needs to be playing some type of sport. Something. Hanging up billboards or something, as tall as he is, I'm just saying. But uh, he did uh, transfer from Baylor to SFA and he played football. He had a great career at SFA. But I'm going to let him introduce himself. I got a couple questions. I'm a big football fan, so I'm, I'm very excited to have him here. But before we get into the interview, here's a couple things I need to let you know that's so important. And you're going to be the first one to hear it. First of all, follow us on Instagram if you have it. Teddy Tuesday Pod. I'll say it again. Teddy Tuesday Pod. Follow us on Twitter at Teddy Tuesday Pod. If you have a YouTube, subscribe to our channel at Teddy Tuesday Pod TV. Teddy Tuesday Pod TV on YouTube. Also, next week is Ladies Night. And let me tell you, we are all RSVP out for next week. There will only be standing room available for Ladies Night next week. And we got two special guests. We got the mayor of Missouri City that's going to be in the building next week. The first ever African-American female mayor in Fort Bend County to be here next week. We also have an NFL player that's going to be here. I'm not even going to say. I ain't going to say what it is yet. I'm, I'm going to make y'all wait. You got to follow us on Instagram to see which NFL player will be here next week to help me host Ladies Night. We will be doing giveaways. I will be talking about all the women entrepreneurs in Fort Bend County. So just stay tuned. Be here early. That's your warning. 6 p.m. Be here early next week. We will be up and lifted. I will be lifted next week. I'm telling you, I'm be lit. For real. So I just want to let y'all know that Ladies Night is next week. I'm celebrating women who are doing their thing in a big way. It's Black History Month. So we're going to be black all month. I'm just saying. Fuzzy Tacos going to get tired of us. And I'm like, we got to dig out the go. But uh, I'm just black. But anyways, just want to let you guys know that. Don't tell me I erased my notes. And I didn't. Alright, so I'm going to let him introduce himself. Y'all make some noise. Y'all show some love for Willie Jefferson the third, Not the second, but the third. Oh, his wife is here and his baby. Just want to let y'all know. Shout out to them. Okay. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Like she said, Willie Jefferson the third, Beaumont, Texas native. Beaumont. You already know Paul. Yes, P.A. You know, 4-9, shout out, you know what I'm saying? So, 
Yeah, man, I'm uh, blessed to be here, man. Happy my girl reached out to me. Uh, happy she doing big things. Let me move his city. mic, you know, because I'm a little loud. Let me move his... There you go. Yeah, man, I'm so, like I said, man, blessed to be here. Happy my girl reached out to me. Uh, happy that she doing big things, man. It's only uh, right that I come out and show her love. And, you know what I'm saying? Speak my mind and do my thing on the I feel small sit behind him with his shoulders so wide. It's gotta, let me let me fix up myself up a little bit. You know, because it's kind of big, you know. No one feel the part too. You feel me? But uh, let me tell you a little story. Willie went to school and he had the original, when I had my very first logo for DJ Teddy, he had the original shirt. It was crappy. I, it was horrible. I, I thought I was doing something. It was just horrible. It was the original DJ Teddy logo and he wore the first shirt. When I was DJing, I think there was a basketball game, and I was DJing SFA, so he wore the first one. So that's how far we go back, just to let you know, when I was looking a hot mess. I'm not afraid to say, but a hot mess. And I had my very first logo. So he's always showed love, so I think it's only appropriate that you give back. But uh, what I like about him is, um, and we're gonna get to the questions, is that he's played for the Texans, the Redskins, and now he's in Canada. And to continue to do what you want to do, and not be stressed about it. And so, see, even his daughter cheering him on. You hear? Even she cheer, even she, that's my daddy. You know, even she know who he is. So that's always good to be able to be a, a father. And see, look, but he must be a great father. Look at that. Ugh, that's so cute. So to, for him to do that, so that's why I brought him here today to, uh, I always should bring in somebody that can inspire somebody else. You can do radio, you can do whatever you want to do, but if you're not inspiring people, it doesn't matter. If you're not putting something into their spirit or, or, or their mindset, what you're doing, it, it's not going to last. So, anyways, I'm going to let him give a little story about himself, um, give a little background about himself, and then we're going to ask a couple questions. That's cool, everybody? Everybody live? It's Tuesday. We still got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so wake up. Go out there and get it. I'm serious. Y'all gotta wake up. Oh, next Tuesday, ladies night. I'm gonna even talk about myself a little bit. Man, like I said, Willie Jefferson, Beaumont, Texas. Graduated from us. Beaumont OZ in 2009, which is Beaumont United now. Man, I've been ripping Beaumont since, like I said, since the uh, since birth, man. 1991, 90s baby. Went to Baylor to play football, left. Came to SFA, met Teddy, had a great two years at SFA, graduated 2012. Ever since then, man, I've been on my grind doing my football thing. Went from, like she said, the Texans, undrafted free agent, from the bottom of the barrel, worked my way up, signed to the uh, signed to an active roster, played six games, left the, uh, the Texans, went to Canada for my first two years. Was blessed to uh, win the Great Cup championship in 2015. That's the Super Bowl in Canada, just to let you know. You know what I'm saying? After 2015, had a uh, chance to go back to the NFL, play with the Redskins for offseason. Mm -hmm. Things didn't work out. In these last three years, I've been in Canada just balling, man. So, I'm saying the last two years have been back to back uh, all star. You know what I'm saying? Top ranked player, top 50 player in the CFL. Top five, you know what I'm saying? Every year in the uh, free agency and stuff like that. So, man, I just come back every year, come back home to Texas. It's been uh, it's been a blessing, man. Try to do these camps, try to uh, inspire these kids, and just empower, you know what I'm saying? Some black people in general to keep their head up, man. It's a lot of it's a lot of young black men out there, that, you know what I'm saying? Play football and get thrown by the wayside and stuff like that, lose their mind and just just give up. But, you know what I'm saying, like, social media nowadays give these guys, a give me a platform to reach out and talk to these dudes. And I, I feel like, me personally, I done helped out a lot of guys, you know what I'm saying, keep their minds, like, keep their mind on the right path and stuff like that, and keep they, you know what I'm saying, keep them out the streets, man, it's, it's been a blessing. It's more than football. I'm telling you, if you can't inspire, you're in the wrong business, no matter what it is. So, he's had a, a whole bunch of escalades, and he's tall and big. Big hands and everything. So if you get out of line, it's wham right upside your head. I'm just joking. You're not about that. I'm just playing. But we're going to ask a couple questions real quick. I'm a big football fan. And it's located in Canada. This is CFL. For those that don't know, CFL. They do. Football is big over there. If you haven't 
Check it out. Follow them on Instagram. And how do you say your team name? Because that word is long. SFA to teach us those type of vocabularies. I'm just saying. And my former team, uh, Saskatchewan Rough Rock. Say, say it again. What? Saskatchewan. 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 Yeah. Is the owner yeah. black or is it Saskatchewan? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, please. I'm just saying. If you ever want to go to a place with the coldest winners, this is Saskatchewan. Wow, is that cold? It's cold. It's cold. Yes. Did you play in that type of weather? Like, yeah, I'm saying like, I'm saying if you're playing in Canada, I'm saying playing in Canada, you know, it's up north. A lot of places up there don't have uh, indoor facilities and stuff like that. So when it comes to the end of the season, early, I mean, late September, early October, the season doesn't end until November 29th, which is the week after Thanksgiving with the Great Cup, you know what I'm saying? Most of the times the Great Cup is played in the soap. So, you know what I'm saying? So, the, the season starts in June and ends in November? Ends in November. Wow. The end of November. End of November. Okay. So, I'm nosy. I went and looked to see the salary cap. <laughs> I went on Instagram. I want to know how much they make it. So actually, I know the NFLs. If you ride the bench, I think it's somewhere between two hundred thousand to a million. If you ride the bench in the NFL, I sit on the bench all day long. You go team, go, cut the check. They also make good money. I think they start off at I think maybe eighty thousand, and it can go up to a million. Am I correct? Canadian. Oh really? And how and how much is a million dollars? Million dollars, like so if a million dollars Canadian, you want to convert that to American, it'll probably be somewhere close to like 800 k Okay. okay. Still good money. All right, so 100. But, but, you know what I'm saying, like, only quarterbacks get, get that type of money. You know what I'm saying? So oh. That's, you, know what I'm saying? you know, most of the time in the NFL, CFL, like overseas ball and stuff like that, the, uh, Quarterbacks get paid more money because they get more hits they have to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Right. A lot more stuff and stuff like that. But I'm saying like the normal, like the normal, like salary cap for like a uh, like all-star player, a good player, like one of the top players in the league is probably like somewhere close to like 250 at the most. So 250,000 for like five, six months ain't bad, yeah. and that ain't bad. And that means for the rest of the season, you can either do motivation speaking, you can do other hobbies, you can go vacation with your family. Five, six months, $250,000, i will take that. You know, it's better than seven twenty five. dollars Turn it up. Turn it up. Speaking, I got you. Got you. Already. So you got to have a good team around you. You got to have a good team. So just let you know, if you go over there, you got to... The money value is a little different, but I still take two hundred fifty thousand, even a hundred thousand for five six months. That's not bad. It's over here, you know. Do I gotta pay taxes? Exactly. You always gotta pay taxes. You, do you pay Canadian taxes or U.S. You know, U.S. They slick, so you know. Man, I'm saying it depends. I'm saying if you come home, if you come home and you got a job at home, then you pay your American taxes. But then at the same time, you gotta pay your Canadian taxes because you're a citizen and you work out there. You, you know what I'm saying like when you get your check. The check get taxed, so you gotta, so you, you know what I'm saying, you do gotta pay the taxes out there, but it's, it's different, just like how it is. Is it cheaper? I'm saying it's, it's taxes. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, you don't wanna pay You don't even care, pay, it's taxes. You don't wanna pay money for you, for you spending money, for you getting money, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, it's the right thing to do, so you gotta do it. It's the right thing to do, so you gotta do mine. Sometimes I don't think about the right thing. I'm just saying. Do anyway, I have a couple questions? So for you, what is the ultimate goal you want as a player and as a father? What is your ultimate goal? If it's more than one, that's cool too. But what is like five years from now, this is what you want to accomplish. This is what you want done. Five years from now, CFL wise, if I'm, like I said, five years from now, if I'm still playing football, uh, top five defensive linemen in sex. You know what I'm saying? That's one big thing that I've been that I've been chasing forever since I came into the CFL. Met a couple of guys that uh, that I look up to. It's been on. A, we've been chasing this record, this number. Uh, you know what I'm saying? To lead the CFL and sacks and stuff like that. But to, other than that, just to have my name 
in the Hall of Fame and, and count them and stuff like that, just so I can uh, leave something for my for my family to look back on. You know what I'm saying? That's along the line, like you know what I'm saying, like I got my little girl when she had you know what I'm saying, kids and stuff like that, my, my nieces and nephews, so when they look look me up on the internet, like I won't be just somebody that was out there just doing me. I wanted to uh, look back and see I was out there doing great things, you know what I'm saying, showing love to the city, showing love to, you know what I'm saying, my hometown and just giving back. And then on top of that, something that I also want to do now, I just want to be a great dad, be a great husband, I'm saying, have me a big family, you know what I'm saying, just, just do everything that, that God put me on this earth to do, just show my, uh, show my family love and give my parents everything that they, that they, didn't, that they couldn't give me. A legacy. I don't think everybody thinks about having a legacy. And one thing I, I will say, if you, don't, if you don't have a mission, everything that you do will get misused. So that's why I say you always got to have a mission. You got to have a why for what you do. So when you do it, you execute. Anybody can do something, but very few, very few people can execute. That's why LeBron James is so good. It's not because, oh, it's LeBron James. He executes. He go out there and he give 110% and he wants that legacy. So when he dies, his children are still here. They gonna, you're going to still know LeBron. Michael, Michael Jordan did an excellent job on that legacy. Michael Jordan set the tone. So that's a good example. Another question. Who's the most influential sports icon to you? Who, who influenced you the most? Like when I was younger, I used to play wide receiver and stuff like that, but uh, it was one time like I was doing just like great things in high school and stuff like that, but I was also like running around in the streets like being like being like a bad kid, but I was always like a person that, like I said, run the streets, but then come to school and then make like make straight A's and you know what I'm saying? Like all the teachers knew me for being this great athlete and you know what I'm saying, being good in school. But then as soon as I leave school, I'm out there doing all this crazy stuff and stuff. But uh, when I was younger, man, uh, Randy Moss came to two bone my and talked to me personally. And you know what I'm saying? Like that, that kind of stuck with me, man. He told me I could, I could do great things if I was just, you know what I'm saying, put my mind to it and stuff like that. And uh, he always been someone uh, important to me, sports wise, you know what I'm saying? Cause like I, like I said, I was a receiver, I, I uh, idolized him. Randy Moss, he was a bad man. I mean, a bad man. So, when season's not in, what, what do you do in your off time? What, what is, you just, do you travel, do you work out, do you, what do you do? I'm saying this year has been, it's been, it's been different. I'm saying the last couple of years, all season wise, I'm saying I'm always working out and stuff like that, just so I can, you know what I'm saying, stay ready, be ready for the season and stuff like that. I used to uh, substitute teach, you know what I'm saying, I used to uh, just do like, like odd jobs and stuff like that, on and off, just to keep me busy, keep like the extra money in my pocket, like you know what I'm saying, like the season isn't, like I'm saying, the season isn't long, you know I'm saying, six months, you get your money and you come home, you know what I'm saying, like it's the holidays when you come home, so you know you gotta spend money on your family and stuff like that, and then on top of that, you gotta pay rent, pay bills, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I love to travel. You know I'm saying? I travel all around Texas. Uh, sometimes I try to get out of Texas like at least once or twice during the off season. Like uh, this past year, me and my wife and my, uh, and my little girl, we went to Hawaii for the first time. That was my first time and their first time like actually going to Hawaii. So that was a big thing for us. And then just, you know, man, just living life. Like I said, this this uh, this past this past year has been big for us. You know just having a little girl in April. This April will be her first birthday. And you know what I'm saying? Like we like I'm saying that's something we like to do. We like to travel, we like to eat, you know what I'm saying? We like to see new things. So you know what I'm saying? That's something we do. You know, he said that he substitute teaches and stuff like that. Most players on the off season, they're not gonna take time to do stuff like that. So that's that's very humble. Like for real, you know what I'm saying? They get their money and they just focus on themselves. So that's 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 really dope, like for real, nice for real dope. So do you have like before a game? Because you know I be when I DJ at the stadiums, I be trying to watch the players warm up and do their little routine. They be doing these fancy stretching and these little routines, jogging in place. I be tired looking at them. But is there a <laughs> I'm just saying, is there a special like routine that that you gotta do before you get before a game? Is it mental or is it like? Okay, I gotta go in, I gotta play this position, I gotta guard such and such, I'm ready, let's go. Oh uh, no, nah, it's so like every week, you know what I'm saying, it's something, it's always something new that you gotta, you know what I'm saying, do to uh, get ready for the game, it's a new opponent, you always gotta watch film and stuff like that, but 
know what I'm saying? Me, I'm very simple. I like to give me something good to eat before the game. Come in, listen to some good music. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time it's hip hop. Saying, uh, get my mind in the right place, go outside, like you said, you know what I'm saying, do like a little weird little, little stretches and stuff like that, run around the field. Like I told you, like at the end of the season it's cold. You know what I'm saying? Most people don't like playing in the cold, especially if you're from the States, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't a lot of people uh in Canada that like, play in Canada like from like Florida, Texas, Georgia, you know what I'm saying, all these hot climate places that you know what I'm saying, like so we play we used to play in the in the sun. We used to play in, like you know what I'm saying, sometimes in the rain and stuff like that, but at the end of the season and it's it's cold, it's snowing. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? That wind get the we blowing. Need, when it snow. You know what I'm saying? That wind get the blowing and stuff we like need that. The so, ocean. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a couple of things that I used to do toward the end of the season, you know what I'm saying? Like, I go out there, run around, but I usually do it with my shirt off just so I can get comfortable, you know what I'm saying, in the cold. Even though it is, you know what I'm saying, as soon as you come out the tunnels, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that cold weather, that snow will hit you right in the face. You know what I'm saying? Make you just want to turn around and just, just, just say, I don't want to play today. But, you know what I'm saying? That's something. Like, like you said, man, it's, it's a lot of mental stuff that go on in this game. Like, it's, like if you was out there, in the cold, in the jacket, long sleeve, thermal, head scarf, all this stuff on, and then you see me come outside with just some gloves and, and no shirt on. Well, you been to already. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 it'll have you shook, you know what I'm saying? It'll make you feel like, man, this dude, like, just really ready to play the game. Like, he not worried about this, not worried about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, how, how am I going to stop him? Man? That's something that I learned from, uh, my big bro that playing the CFL now, like he told me like you always gotta be mentally ready. You know what I'm saying? You always gotta like try to psych out the other dude, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Just little things that get, get somebody else off their game that keep you in your game that you know what I'm saying, help you win and along. So I gotta ask you, if you could you play for the NFL and you play for the CFL, if you had to pick a team today, is that what team would you pick to play for? Houston Texas. What not the Dallas Cowboys? I'm messy. <laughs> Real messy. I'm just playing. I'm messy. Uh, okay, the Houston Texans. Why the Houston Texans? Why? Well, I mean, I grew up in a uh, in the Houston Texans household, and my dad was always an Oiler fan. Like I was a big Oiler fan. When we uh when we made the switch, you know what I'm saying? I made the switch, and, that's, and it, we always been we always been like that. Like it's I got you know what I'm saying friends and family. That's that's Cowboys fans and stuff like that. Like. It is what it is. Like you said, if, you know what I'm saying, the Cowboys is to call me more, you know what I'm saying, wanted to cut the check, you know what I'm saying? I'm, just, I'm a big Jerry, guy. you cut the check? I'm not Jerry. What you need? What I'm you need? I'm, saying, I'm a big Dallas fan, but you know what I'm saying, until then. I'll play all, I'll play all, all, right. what, what you need? You want me to run some routes? You, what, I, the equipment man? What you need, Jerry? I got you. Exactly. <laughs> For real. I believe, I believe we're going to do it now. I Okay, okay. So he played NFL, y'all. He played CFL, and right now you're on your way to do what's next? What's next for you? I don't know, man. I'm a free agent right now. I'm saying free agency starts uh, next week for the CFL. Okay. In a couple, uh, in like a month or so, free agency for the uh, for the NFL. But like I said, man, I take care of my family and I do what's do what's right for me, right with me. So we'll see what's what's uh, coming in the, in the near future. So if you guys want to follow him on Instagram, let me go to his Instagram real quick because he got he got quite a few followers, y'all. Y'all follow him and support him in what he does, even if you give him a shout out or something. So here's his Instagram because he got the whole thing. Willie Jefferson the third on there for real, and he got the check mark too, so he official like a whistle, certified. certified. So his Instagram is kill k i l l underscore w i l l fifteen seventeen. So that's kill. Underscore W I L L fifteen seventeen. Give him a shout out. Show him some love. He is a free agent. Like I said, he's done the NFL. He's done the CFL. He's done a lot. And he's accomplished a lot. So we gonna continue. To, I'm gonna continue to support you. And if I see you in Houston, Texas, I'm showing up. Gonna chop and screw oh, the songs and, and and everything and, and do it big. So. We appreciate him coming out tonight. Make sure you guys follow him on Instagram. See what he's doing. Don't forget next week. Next week, uh, I'm ready for the music. I'm ready for you. Be easy. Uh, next week, don't forget this ladies night. Let me tell you. Get it here early. We got a lot of special surprises. The mayor of Missouri City will be here. 
Also, we have a NFL, another NFL player coming next week for Ladies Night to help me host. I got a lot of giveaways I'm going to give away. And we got four different women own businesses coming next week four different so make sure you get here early y'all show him some love and his baby because she's been cheering him on since he was interviewing willie jefferson the third y'all show him some love <laughs> for real if y'all want to get a picture now's the time because you got a little baby got to tuck it in the bed. if you want to get a picture want to chop it up with him do it right now his wife ain't got time to be waiting on y'all. I'm just joking. I'm just playing. She didn't say that. She didn't say that. Shout out to Yans, my videographer, all day, every day. Shout out to Teddy Tuesday Podcast, the whole crew, Fuzzy Tacos. And this is Teddy Tuesday Pod. You already, you want to say something? Go ahead. Bye-bye. Oh, so now she got quiet. You see that? That's what, that's what you got to do. I appreciate everybody coming out. See you next Tuesday. Get here early. Ladies night. I got a lot of special guests. The, the mayor and another NFL player will be in the building. Shout out to 713 Printer up in the building too. I'll see y'all next time next Tuesday. We out.